everybody. <laughs> it's me, Susan Blackwell, and today I'm side by side my favorite Broadway jingle horse. Look, everybody, <laughs> from Anastasia, it's Max von Essen. Hi, Hi Max. Everybody. Tell our friends at home where we are and what we're doing today. We are in Hell's Kitchen at a local hang. Oh, am I telling them where we yeah, are? Yeah, We are at Glass House Tavern. We love the Glass House and Tavern. And we are making a gingerbread house for the holidays. It's oh, a huh. kit. We we're taking a it's no 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 a I baked fresh ginger. <laughs> oh, you this you prepared all my. I was up cup. before dawn. You or your team prepared this. This is wonderful. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. Ready? Do you have a plan for this? Yeah, we just connect her. Tell me your story in thirty seconds. I'm gonna put thirty <laughs> seconds on the clock. You're gonna tell me your whole life story. Okay. Don't leave out the awesome parts. Ready and you're starting. Now. Okay, I'm Italian. I was born in Queens till I was five. Then I grew up on Long Island, where that was pretty much like what I'm a product of. And I fell in love with musical theater because my mom brought me all these songs and, and movies and things. And then my dream was to move to, into the city and be a Broadway star. And it's all I want to do ever. And now 15 seconds. I'm here. I have more time. 15. And I went to school and I studied music and economics because I had to be, you know, I'd be serious. Um, and I came out. And I'm a proud gay man five and seconds. performer. And now I'm in Anastasia on. Broadway and living my dream constantly. But ba dooms, <laughs> uh, super bonus. What is the name of that autobiography? <clears throat> my autobiography is um, straight to the middle. The unauthorized autobiography of Max von Essen. We're playing what the what right now with Max. Caftans and slide whistles uh -huh. and wigs. And wigs. What the what? I don't know how that started, but uh, someone gave me a slide whistle, and I was doing a show a long time ago, and we needed it, like we, it, was, it was stressful, so I just always had it in my bag. So if there was ever like a tense moment, or the stage manager said something crazy, I'd just be like, <laughs> and everyone would just immediately like ease. It, it just broke the tension all the time. And caftans, that is something I stole from Andrew Rannells. And you he, don't say. <laughs> Not, I didn't steal an actual caftan, but I stole the sort the of the, idea. the idea of it. Tell because me more. caftans also, <laughs> they just make you feel great. I mean, you feel like you're in an episode or like you're down in like Miami or something with your old lady friend. So you have a collection? We have a box of caftans, and usually when we have friends over <laughs> and you've been drinking for a, a few minutes or a few hours. At some point, someone will know where they are, and they'll run upstairs as I like, go under my bed, and they'll grab a wig, because the wigs are in the box, too. And they'll grab a caftan, and then the party just turns into, like, <laughs> men and women lounging around in wigs and caftans. That's why on your Facebook, there are so many photos, <laughs> just like party photos, random photos, and I'll be like, why are a third of the people in this photograph wearing, a, like, a shitty I'm, wig? I'm telling you, it's so fun. And you're so, so you relaxed. Goddamn barrel of monkeys, yeah. Max von Essen. <laughs> You've been on your farewell tour of West Side Story, <laughs> Tony, for like years now, son. What the no, what? No, it's so over. It's been a long time. Come on. It, you, but how, how many times did you say, this is my last <laughs> Tony and West Side Story? I mean, like th at least three times. But it they was like my first gig ever. You back in. Another theater with call. And then recently I was actually auditioning like, for it. <laughs> There was a concert recently of like a fancy a symphony concert, and I was auditioning for it. First of all, I was like, auditioning. You were auditioning? Yes. You were like... Second of all, I auditioned for everything. But this one, they were like, I thought maybe they would just call me. It's a concert. It doesn't matter if I'm a little old. It's a big space. It's just in concert. But not only did I go to audition, because I thought, one more. <laughs> you know, I got one, one more in me. me. But I knew I could do it vocally, and it, in concert, it'd be a little different. And you're off book. Come on. I didn't get it. <laughs> You're doing Anastasia on the Broadway. Yes, what the yes. what is that like? I I love it. I love it I so love that much. You love it. It's super challenging, but not like physically challenging. He's on and off stage, he's got these this? long breaks. Yes, challenging. I mean Ramin was like and would sing Aww. sing his high notes. I think it was <clears throat> like a it felt like a piece of cake for him. Or it, he just made it seem like that. Um, but for me, not a piece of cake. But, but it's, you it's love fun. It. Yeah. And why, you know, it's not supposed to be easy. I mean, American in Paris wasn't easy. It was more physical. Broadway's were, not supposed to be easy. Broadway's not supposed to be easy. Um, and this definitely isn't. Like singing the, these songs, Aaron's and Flaherty, these like epic songs, it's amazing. When you see audience members filming shows with their camera, what the what happens? You, God, you know, you know my trigger points, don't you? 
That's when I need a slide whistle in my pocket. Like that, so I can just, just take out on your stage. Shit like, down. <laughs> it's baby's first break. <laughs> my first break for me, because it was so crazy. I was <clears throat> a little bit obsessed with Liza Minnelli when I was a kid. Sure. Like that was one of the she was one of the first performers I was like, oh my gosh. Like I gravitated towards. Yeah. I didn't even know who her mother was like at that point. I mean I knew Wizard of Oz, but I didn't know it was like mother, daughter, Judy Garner. I just knew Liza Minnelli. I, lo I loved her. And then I saw it in backstage. Not dot com, the paper that I would get every week. What's that now? That backstage. Yeah. Um, and Liza Minnelli needed a backup singer. She had two guys. She needed a third. It said like between 5'9 and 5'11, I guess, to fit the costumes. Ba and her high part, baritone, yeah. tenor, or whatever. And I was like, I'm sorry, excuse me? We like, like, this is this mine. Is, <laughs> this is mine. But I mean, no agent or anything at the time. I just sent, sent my stuff in. And I got an audition. I had five callbacks. And then I booked it. And I toured with Liza Minnelli. That was Baby's First Break? Yeah. That is an amazing... Yeah. I mean, that right. was crazy for me. It didn't really do anything career-wise. It was so sort of separate. I wanted to do theater. Like, no one really knew. It didn't get me auditions or anything. What an adventure. But it was an And adventure. with somebody you love. Someone I was... Still love? Yes. Love even more? Well, I mean, how could you not... How could I not still Liza, love Liza Minnelli? I don't know. Right? Maybe, maybe I mean, she, that's like, like she I don't know, she, she beat you as a hanger. I don't know. No, oh you're kidding? God. She was perfect. Show us your pussy now. Show us a picture of your cat, your hedgehog, your pet, your dog. Oh. Show us your pussy. I thought you were at, you know, you know what's coming? Maybe. In my life? I do. Um, pocket? You know that pocket is coming? Oh gosh, am I gonna, am I, have I turned into a crazy cat person already? So my partner and I have wanted, well he's wanted, he grew up with pets, like tons of pets. He's like, we need something. I, I, yeah. I am, I am like dying, I am aching for, like to have a, like a life, a small life around. And I don't like feel a need for it, but now I have like fallen in love yeah. and I've come on board. This is a little sphinx cat, her name is Pocket. <gasps> Look oh! at her. Pocket, pocket is the name of the game. The name Pocket of the, the Sphinx. Game she already got her Instagram at Pocket the Sphinx. Um, not Pocket? my doing. My boyfriend's obsessed. Um, yes, her name's Pocket, but she comes on Friday. It's literally <gasps> Christmas. She's from a special breeder in Arizona, and adopt, special. Adopt, adopt. I know, I know, I know. Here and I, and we absolutely one thousand percent would. I'm really allergic, so we had to find the best possible breed for me. Um, and she's hairless. She's got like a Look little bit on her ears. Look at the sunlight ears. coming through her ears. <laughs> she is, and she's teeny, and she's gonna be, Aww. she's gonna stay pretty teeny. She, um, Daniel's flying out to Arizona on Friday to go get her, because she's, that's where she wow. is. Wow, I know, pocket. she's, yeah, Pocket is uh, setting me back. Oh my God. Let's just say, thank God I'm back on Broadway. <laughs> I see diamonds on Pocket, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Fill it in, fill it in, fill in the musical blanks. You're gonna fill in the blanks, but you have to do it in song, okay? Uh huh. The first song I remember singing was. The, the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Tiny Annie? Well. <laughs> I auditioned for community theater prod version of Annie. Once again, they took a little license because they wanted me in the show. And so they made up a role. I was the boy orphan. <laughs> they had one boy the, orphan. The orphan? The orphan. <laughs> if you recall from Annie, there are no boy orphans. My first audition song was... Oh, um, oh gosh. Do you know the song? All the time I thought there's only me Crazy in a way that no one else could be Would have given everything I own If someone would have said you're not alone How depressing. It's a Barry Manilow song, I think. But I like, which is kind of like singing as like a light, like a light, light pop song. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my go-to audition I song think. now is... Oh, um, uh, okay. I have a couple, but it's probably... I have dreamed that your arms are lovely. Sucky. I have dreamed what a joy you'll be. Yeah. I have dreamed... I love that song. It, it's one of my favorite songs ever, and I can uh, kind of like adjust it a little bit depending on like what's needed. You're but like, I mean, obviously, I go in for more s shows that are a little bit like more song, a little bit right. more romantic. But when they're like, "But we so, need a bluegrass version." Oh, of that's that. like I have dream that's around all lovely. And no, then no, no, like, I don't do anything like, like that. We need like a heavy metal version of that. Then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> then, then I say, "Thank you." 
<laughs> My go-to karaoke song is. Oh, uh, um, uh, 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 I, I, who, I who have nothing. I, I who have nothing. I who have no one adore you. It's uh, Tom Jones does it. And want to show that I love you. I don't know all the words right now because uh, it's usually karaoke. Your voice. You know. <laughs> You're like a. A dorkestra. That's a dork orchestra. <laughs> dork all in one body. <laughs> Guess what time it is? It's time to eat this? No, it's, it's time, time for Susan's go. Fantasy Jukebox. I've got your nose and you can have it back. But first, you can, have, <laughs> can sing me any song of your choosing. How about something from Anastasia? I'd love yeah, it. There's a really pretty song called The Neva Flows. And it goes like, The Neva flows, a new wind blows. And soon it will be spring. The leaves unfold, the czar lies cold. A revolution is a simple thing. That's it. We, yeah, and he just kind of keeps going. But it's not a pretty theme. Da -de -da -dum, da -de -da -dum, da -de -da 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 -dum. You're it's pretty. good at singing. No. You should have told me you would make me sing it at a, at a morning shoot. You guys, this has been another amazing episode of Side by Side by Susan Blackwell with Max von Essen. Go see him. Come see me. And Anastasia, you are, do you want any spreadings? Sure. Um, you're a dreamboat. Spreadings to you. You're a goddamn dreamboat. I'm putting dream him boat. sideways. Like, look like oh, he's flying. Oh, jaunty. This is really Oops. nice. Can you get a shot of that? What's the boyfriend's um, name? Did his, do you I have don't a name know. like Colby Jack or you something? You know, I don't think they gave me a name. And at the time, my, I didn't have enough training to realize that I was supposed to, f you know, fill in a complete, you know, background and you story a, for him. You didn't do a character study on the boyfriend? I did not. I have no idea what his name was. <laughs>